hello all welcome to cognitive hub linux command tutorials and in this video i am going to explain about the two basic commands that you need to know or that you can use while reading a large files like uh, files with uh, thousand pages or uh, 100 pages or whatever it may be so if you want to read only the few first few pages of a book or or of a file or last few pages of a file or middle few pages or whatever it may be if you want to uh, read or if you want to get the output only from those particular pages then you can use the, these two commands known as head command as well as the tail command so how you will be using these two commands with respect to the number of lines that you want to uh, get the output or number of pages that you can to output i am going to explain in this video with the different options now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic So okay guys, in this video what I am going to explain is, we are going to look into two other commands that we have in Linux tutorials. So that is the head command as well as the tail command. So this video won't last uh, much long. So head command is basically print the first few lines uh, depending upon our query requirement. So whatever the number of lines that we need, whether it is 10 or 100, whatever it may be. So depending upon the file it will print or the first few lines if that is meant by head and if you want the last few lines then you need to specify it as tail so basically if you want head, like if you write it as head space file dot txt then it will just print the by default the number is 10 so it will print the first 10 lines so irrespective of the number of lines that are present inside the file it will print the first 10 lines and if you write the tail space file dot txt then it will print the last five lines or the last ten lines so the same i am going to explain it now so firstly i am writing ls so we have a kind of content in all the file 1 file 2 file 3 so now what i am going to do is i just want you to write uh, something known as cats as we have already seen about the cat command i just want to overwrite that and i am writing some of the lines here hello line x and guru my world and quarty and one two three four one two two one one twelve thirteen thirty two 34, 23, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 7, 5, 4, and good evening, good night, good day, hello world. So these are the few lines that I want you to, uh, that I want you to copy up because with this I am going to explain you a few things here so the first one is I am just coming out of this so the first one what I am going to explain is I want you to uh, I want to print so first of all I want to print the cat space file 3 so these are all the contents from here to here so now here uh, the complete output is visible inside the ter in the, inside the single terminal but you let us assume if the file is having the 500 pages or uh, 5000 lines or the 1 lakh lines or 1 million lines whatever it may be so in that case if you want to pick up only the header value then you need to see only the first few lines so in that case header will be able fed header will help you to see similarly if you want to pick up only the last few lines from a file then you can able to use a tail command so for that we use basically head and tail commands to pick up the first few lines and the last few lines so for as we have the file 3 is the file name now so we have a head command now head space file 3 so as i mentioned by default uh, we need uh, i think it is having 10 so if you write this yeah by default it, uh, the number of uh, lines that it will take is total 10 so it will pick up the first 10 lines here so the actual the output that is present here is this much this much 
but now it is picking up only the first 10 lines you can also write uh, head space 5 space file 3 so it will pick up okay okay it couldn't able to do that so suppose if I want to print only first 5 lines then I need to use one option here that means hyphen n so hyphen n is nothing but that num it will represent the number of lines so if I want to print the only first 5 lines then I need to write it like this so it what it will do is it will print only the first 5 lines here so it, it is not printing the 2 3 4 and 1 2 here and similarly if I want to print only the first 2 lines then you need to write only first 2 similarly if I want to print uh, the first uh, like 10 lines then you need to write it like first 10 lines so basically head hyphen n 10 file 3 is nothing but head space file 3 because by default the file head command will return the first 10 lines so this is about uh, returning up a uh, few lines or whatever the count that you want similarly we have one more option known as hyphen c which means characters so from the starting position of the file it will pick up the first 10 characters and it will print it here similarly if i wrote it here some 20 characters so from the start of the position it will count total 20 characters so each word each letter is nothing but a character and each space is also a character so like that it will count total 20 characters and it will print it here so that is what uh, iphone c is for so basically the normal headspace file 3 it will pick up uh, 10 first lines like uh, 10 lines from the first position and if it if you mention if you want to pick up only the few lines you, that means if you want to specify the number then you need to use the hyphen n option for specifying the number of lines and if you want to pick up the characters then you need to specify the hyphen c and also you can also bring multiple characters so what i want to do is i just want to copy the same contents into another file so for that uh, cp space file 3 space file 4 so ls file 4 is there so cat space file 4 now what i wanted you to do is i want to print the contents from file 3 and file 4 at a time so head space file 3 space file 4 so if i write this it will give like this like uh, first it will print the file 3 contents like by default it is at 10 and similarly later on it will give the file 4 but instead of uh, separating this if you want the content combinedly like after the completion of two line here you directly want the hello linux line then what you need to do is just write uh, the above command like headspace file 3 file 4 and before that you need to give one more option known as hyphen q so if you do this so without specifying the file names here it will just concatenate like a just single file so this is what uh, the head command will do and just how the head command will work the same we have a tail command so the functionality is quite same but the only difference that it is having is the head will pick up the records from uh, or uh, head will pick up the rows from the first line and the tail will pick up the rows from the bottom line so before that i am just printing the file 3 here again so now i am using tail space file 3 so if you observe this it will count the lines from the bottom till the 10th line so it will print only those words similarly if you want to print only a few lines here like the number of lines i want to print only the last two lines from the file 3 then it will print only the last two lines that is good day and hello world and just like our other command that we used here is uh, uh, characters so if i want to print only hyphen c if i want to print only the first 15 characters of file 3 or uh, sorry the last 15 characters of file 3 then it will print the only the last count so hello world is completed and from the last position it is y and a that means here under the day it is picking up from the ending so a y and a so if i mention 20 it will again come up from the 20 then it will come to till g so basically it will keep on counting from the end of the position so that is what uh, options for uh, hyphen n and hyphen c so basically hyphen n is for counting the number of lines and hyphen c is for counting the number of characters and uh, similarly if you want to specify 
tile space uh, file 3 and file 4 then then uh, it is also same so if you want to remove that file 3 and file 4 headings then you need to write hyphen q so if you write this then it will just remove that header here so this is basically what the functionality of the tail command as well as the head command so head will basically pick up the content from the first position and the tail will pick up the content contents from the and uh, last position so this is the major difference between the head and the tail commands in the coming lectures we will see much more commands on this linux session so that is all for this video guys thank you for watching